it's pretty dirty right now but um, haven't been running her too much lately and just put the miles on my new my new play truck instead keep these tires looking new beautiful truck this could be your truck link down in the description every twenty dollars you spend on some sick hot new merchandise we got key tags cool shirts all kinds of crazy stuff here's one of the shirts this is a newer release single taken too busy building trucks got keychains decals everything you get some cool hot new apparel and accessories and a chance to win a beautiful beautiful truck but today we are going to be working on the new first gen the new old first gen so get this bad girl back to the barn gotta love these ve pumps on these first gens and for anybody wondering about some of these gauges like the only one that really works is the fuel gauge the oil pressure gauge doesn't really work. The oil temperature gauge kind of works. Um, but for the most part, a lot of these gauges just kind of like on and off, touchy, sensitive, like weird. But we're gonna just uh, get to doing our little project for the day, which I think is gonna be pretty fun. What is up everybody? Welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. We've got a good one for you today. Don't know how it's gonna turn out, but I think we're gonna have a little bit of fun with this truck. Like I said, with this truck, I'm just going to have fun with it. Well, 90% of people think just actually building the truck would be absolutely freaking sweet. And like I already told you guys, once this giveaway is kind of off my plate and I have a little bit more available time, trying to do the best I can, it's just that, I, honestly, I could almost use more employees at this point, like some more help, some more, even more help, honestly, and more space, like a, like a bigger facility. But um, we're, we're doing the best that we can. But anyways, guys, what we're going to try to do today is just something a little bit goofy with the exhaust system on the first gen. Now, what I was saying was everybody was like, build the truck, and we still have some people that are just like, dude, just, just rough with it. Like, just be rough with the truck, dude. Just have like a blast with it. And I hope people didn't take it the wrong way when I said like, we're going to actually build the thing. When I mean we're going to build the thing, like we're going to throw wheels and tires on it. We're going to throw some horsepower under the hood. We're going to, you know, do some stuff like that. Paint will probably honestly be the last thing that we do. We can still be rough with the truck and have fun with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh no, if we're roughhousing with the truck and something breaks, it's not like, oh no, I'm out money on wheels and tires. I can take the wheels and tires off and sell them. Like, it's not, it's not a big deal. Like, I'm not, I'm not worried about losing money on this truck. I got it so cheap. Um, but I, I'm also not going to like abuse it to the point of like destroying it and then oh no, now it doesn't run, we blew, we blew up the engine or something stupid like that. You know what I mean? So like, when I said we're gonna have fun with that, I'm like, we might take it on the street, do some funny videos like down the road of like, you know, trying to race people on the street or stu stuff like that. Well, in, in, you know, as everybody says, every, every other channel out there in Mexico, like that type of stuff, like have some, like do some other cool fun stuff with this truck that we wouldn't normally do since it is like an old grandpa looking rig. I think it'd be kind of cool. Everybody has their own opinion, but that's what we're going to do with it. So we don't have the main exhaust system in, but by the end of this video, you guys might kind of know what I'm going to be doing with this truck. We're going to be throwing a stack in the bed. Um, and I'm not worried about it, you know, like, oh no, don't damage the bed. Look, there's already a hole right there. That looks like it was supposed to be for a gooseneck, but I mean, that would have to be a tiny gooseneck ball. Um, but I mean, the bed's in like rough shape. I'm not worried about, you know, ruining a perfectly good bed. Some people like freak out when you cut a hole in the bed. It's like, if you cut a perfectly square hole in the bed to set your exhaust down in, you can just cut a square and, you know, tack weld, you know, weld it back up in there. Like, it's not that big of a deal. I don't think people are going to freak out and be like, oh no, you had to weld in a new little tiny, tiny little patch there in the back um, to cover up the stack hole. Like, it's not, it's not that big of a deal. Um, People make a huge deal out of it, but it's not that big of a deal. Um, so anyways, guys, we are going to get to doing that. Um, what we're first going to do, obviously, is get to cutting away some of the small hangers and stuff. They kind of made their own hangers under there, so we're going to get to cut away some of the hangers. After we cut the exhaust, where we're going to cut it um, to be able to even run any kind of exhaust for our stack that we're going to be doing. Now, I don't know if I'm going to make like a temporary little goofy stack today for this video or what. But we're just going to go for it. We're just going to see what happens. I don't know for sure what we're going to do. All I know is the muffler under here is just, there's just too much muffler. Okay, there's just too much muffler, and I'm not a fan of it. Um, it still sounds good, but it just, it's too, it's too muffled down, which is what a muffler's for. It's just, it's just too quiet for me. So we're going to get to getting under this truck with a grinder. We're going to get to cutting away around right in front of that muffler and then we're going to just get the exhaust system out from under there and then if we kind of toy with that from that point on I'm gonna have to measure out because it's an eight inch stack 
I'm gonna have to measure out eight inches and then I'm gonna measure out one more inch just so we have a little bit of play room um, for the stack because I don't want the stack literally like rubbing up against the back of the bed there. Um, but I measure out an extra inch um, and then just kind of find the very center. So we basically got to nine, we're gonna go to like four and a half inches in center um, and then is where we're going to cut the hole in the bed um, and go, do it about that, go about it that way. So yeah, I'm not too worried about it guys. Don't, don't anybody stress it with this build. This is not a build that people need to freak out about. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's gonna be just fun, fun play stuff. So anyways, I'm gonna get into the truck right now and start ripping some stuff out. I look absolutely um, filthy right now, but it's for good, it's for good cause, right? Um, so I've got this exhaust pipe here, right? And uh, this actually came off of Big Stinky. It was the system that the previous owner kind of made for the truck. Um, now I wasn't gonna even do this today. All I was doing was this. And I know everybody's gonna freak out. Oh my gosh, there's a hole in the bed. What did you do? Um, it's gonna be fine. I just had to, I'm just basically prepping today for tomorrow is when I should get my exhaust stack and my actual smokestack. Um, but basically, all I did was I cut out a uh, five by five hole. And the reason for that was, is I didn't know how far this was gonna stick out. And I might even take that four inch that's down in there, cut, you know, four inches off of that so that this portion will sit down even further. The only reason why I'm not doing that today, this comes up very easy by the way, um, but the only reason I'm not doing that today is because you know I can't drive around the truck really um, without that on there because that'll keep that exhaust down there from you know just shooting up underneath the bed everywhere. But um, anyways, yeah, so all you know, the muffler and everything came out pretty easy. It just, it's not easy when it's 105 out and you're just drenched with sweat and grease and nasty stuff. Um, I'm gonna try to cut this stack shorter. I'm gonna measure it just a little bit and then uh, cut it shorter and then uh, see if it'll sit over top of that or down inside this. I don't know if it will or not. I don't know if it's like a not the right fitment, but uh, we're going to find out. But I'll show you underneath really quick what I did just so you guys can get caught up. I basically just made my own um, section of pipe here to connect it here by taking off the old exhaust system and taking it where it went over the axle down and then it turned out towards you know the tailpipe and I cut out this piece that connected up over the axle and then went down right before it bent out to shoot out the side. Where it bent, I cut it so it kind of made like that perfect pipe um, so I didn't have to buy one. And then also I just um, took this section and I put a little piece in between here, put a couple small welds, put the brackets in, tighten them down and they're good. It's a little bit loose up top there because obviously there's not a stack with it fastened down up there. So just kind of loosely in there, but um, we're gonna get this cut and just see if it works. If it doesn't, no big deal. I wasn't really planning on doing it anyways, but if it does, it'll be kind of funny to see it on the truck. Well, uh, that's that's not gonna work. Oh, and I'm not gonna go welding anything to it because the actual exhaust stack is gonna be coming tomorrow, but we can get the truck started up here so you guys can uh, see what this sounds like. sound too bad but obviously that uh, fitting that's on top there I still have it loose so that when my stack comes in tomorrow you know I don't have it all tacked down to place and then end up having to move it and then I have a whole other problem.
said guys earlier in the video this truck just because I decided we're gonna actually do some stuff with it like wheels and tires and maybe some horsepower parts that doesn't mean we're not gonna have fun with it this truck is like anybody who asks about this truck I'm like yeah this is literally like my play truck I bought this strictly as a play truck to just make some fun content with here and there so once the dually gets back the dually has been delayed a little bit because the guy wants to make sure that he does the best job possible so he delayed it a couple days because he said he wants to make sure the temperature is just right for painting so that it doesn't screw up the paint job. He wants to make sure it's perfect for whoever ends up winning the truck. He doesn't want any, you know, doesn't want to take any shortcuts. I told him that's totally fine if it takes an extra day or two as long as um as long as it's done right and not necessarily on time, but if it was done right, that's all I care about. set up right now like I said the new stacks gonna come in tomorrow and then once we have the stack set in there exactly where I want it then what I'm gonna do is I have some like flat steel laying around the barn we're gonna lay some flat steel not so it's right up against and welded to that but we're gonna lay some flat steel around um, that exhaust hole to fill it in so that you don't have any excess hole just around the bed like it's gonna be to where it's not right up against and it's not going to be welded to it but it's going to be snug um, and then weld on the outside of the, the steel just weld it to the bed so it keeps it right there and uh, you know the stack doesn't have any play in it we've also got a band coming for it that's going to wrap around the stack and mount it to the uh, back of the bed there to keep it stabilized and you know up center and all that stuff so we don't have any issues there but yeah man this first gen it's a lot of fun a lot of fun the four wheel drives man this our white first gen looks huge compared to this thing. If this can give you guys a little bit more justice as to how small this truck is, look how big this one looks. And I mean, obviously this one's on 35s and it's uh, got some kind of lift to the suspension, of course, but and it's a four wheel drive model. But yeah, this is gonna be fun. Total opposite of this build. This is gonna be a 
just throw a bunch of fuel at it. The stack, of course, the wheels and tires. Tint the crap out of the cab. I'm gonna try to get the dually tinted, by the way. I'm also gonna try to get the dually tinted before the giveaway is completely over. Or at least before somebody comes to pick it up. Take it to a shop local and just have them throw some tin on it. It's gonna be awesome. A lot of fun, a lot of fun. Can't wait to see where this build goes. That is going to put a wrap on this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. Tomorrow you should be seeing the smokestack put in the truck unless the stack gets in way too late in the afternoon than the day after probably. But one more thing, just remember, the 12 valve giveaway is going on right now. If you guys kind of heard me mention it on or off, maybe at the beginning of the video, we are doing a 12 valve giveaway if you guys are stopping in for the first time. It's a really good opportunity for you guys to uh, win a truck, you know what I mean? Uh, you get to buy some cool t-shirts, like here's just a small sample of some, some of the stuff we have. Single, taken, too busy building trucks. Um, there's all different stuff. Keep calm, roll cold, green handles only, diesel life, like all kinds of, all kinds of cool stuff. Um, if you guys want to go check it out, we have keychains, decals, if you guys don't want to spend a lot of money, there's all kinds of stuff, but every $20 you spend gets you another entry into winning either that black truck that I showed you at the beginning of the video or the five-speed manual dually that's getting completely repainted and everything right now. So it's going to be a beautiful, beautiful truck when we get it back. Um, both have 205,000 miles, nice little mileage trucks. Um, just, just gonna, they would be a blast to own, an awesome, awesome opportunity. Um, so if you guys want to get in on that before it's too late, definitely do that. There's just less than two weeks left to get entered and then it's over and a lot of stuff we're, we're packing up stuff right now my brother and his friend are still in there packing up stuff right now and we're running out of some things um so if you guys want to get in on this definitely don't miss out link in the description or you can go to the store i'll leave it right here if you guys just want to search it up um lots of cool stuff every 20 dollars you spend until july 2nd gets you another entry all multiple orders all add up to your overall total underneath your name for entries and stuff so you know if you want to make multiple small purchases versus just one large purchase that's that's cool. If you just want to get one thing, that's totally fine too. You don't have to spend a bunch of money. Um, but there's some cool stuff on there if you guys want to check it out. Anyways, all that aside, go check it out if you want to. If not, no big deal. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. If you did, smash that thumbs up. Leave your comments down below. Subscribe if you are new. Join the team. Join the family. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.